Hello everyone, here I am back with a workbox from my 3 year old who is turning 4 in October and this year. And in today's workbox, mostly are science activities. So the disclaimer is that these all are completely my child driven. Uh, she asks some questions and that's why I bring out these activities for her. So I'll explain the logic in everything. So first is the Monday activity. So uh, first is you have to find differences. It was a paper given out to us. Carousel is a uh, shop and buy site in Singapore. So we went to an exhibition and um, they gave us this paper. So we have to find four differences between these two pictures. She loved these games. So that's why it's here. Second one, just a simple family reading. It, so bet, get, she had to read it. Uh, this one is extension to the fourth parameter which we did last week. So uh, there's proteins, there is fruits, uh, there's veggies, there's dairy and there are grains. So and she has to sort this food under grains and dairy and all these five headings. The thing is she cannot do it. Okay, she doesn't even recognize this is butter because we don't get butter in this form here. Uh, she doesn't recognize this is tuna is a fish. We don't eat fish at all. But the thing is. Uh, because she's at this age which she's asking questions why i can't eat ice cream all the time why i need to eat chicken why i need to eat roti why can't i eat only uh i mean uh, fruits and vegetables that's it why do i need to eat vegetables so that's what the food pyramid was the first thing to tell her that what your body need and what your body does not need much and if you eat more of ice cream you will fall sick because your body doesn't need it and the second thing is what all are proteins? What is fruits? What is vegetables? What is dairy? And then we uh, revise that, you know, how much dairy do we need? What is the, our body needs maximum of grains, then fruit and vegetable, then proteins and dairy, and there's some fats there. So we don't, fats. So ice cream will go to fats. We don't need it much. So like that, we talked about it rather than, you know, solving as a puzzle. We talked about it and uh, whatever I had to tell her about nutrition, I told her. So that's why this activity was there. Again, the next day, here are this activity is weather activity where they are spring, uh, summer, fall, and winter. So why this activity is because in Singapore we don't see any seasons. It's always summer. But because we are going to India and it will be their first winter they'll be witnessing in their life apart from their birth. So uh, that's why she was asking me that why it will be winter in India, why it will be snowing, uh, why should we have warm clothes, what we'll do in winter and uh, uh, you know why the leaves will not be there and what is uh, why India, Singapore has only summer and why Singapore, uh, India gets winter. So we talked, we read a book about seasons from a library and then we sorted these items that you know uh, spring uh, will happen after this one because uh, it will be snowing. Uh, and then everything will be uh, gone there'll be no leaves people will live in their house they'll wear warm clothes and will drink hot toffee or hot tea will not eat ice creams and then uh, the season will change we'll get spring summer we'll eat ice cream we'll play with water like that we talked about the seasons again it is about the diagraph she's quite young for diagraph she's just doing cvc but she was eventually asking me uh, the spellings of different things nowadays so she asked about shark and she was pretty confused that why s and h is there in the shark spelling so i tried to introduce these uh words the diagraph words that you know sure sure is shark sure sure is sheep so this is sure like that so it is her sure and bo and sure so again me telling her rather than expecting her to do it and this last one is mammals and not mammals these are all aquatic animals so they are whale uh, fish starfish jay, ray and jellyfish which is not a mammal and whale dolphin manatee and orcas a mammal and why this one because uh, she has already asked me how she came on the earth and how she came in my tummy why she came in my tummy why she was not born as a egg like a hen gives birth to egg why didn't i come as an egg uh, this shop breeding center in the bird park here so it's all the birds lay eggs why didn't you lay an egg all those questions so that's why i told her that i am a mammal i give birth to babies and i the birds are not a mammals or uh, these are not a mammals because they do give birth to eggs so that is the whole thing i had to explain to her and uh, that's what this activity was about because we go to aquarium quite frequently so we talked about that you no know, whale will give birth to babies it cannot give birth to eggs and that's mammal and not mammal third day 
Uh, this is eyes and the animal matching. They look like three, they are three part cards, but we did not do three part. She was not interested in reading, but uh, it's very easy to recognize. Like there's a horse eyes. It, I mean, he's a chameleon, so she could easily match the eyes to the animal. So the uh, my motto with this puzzle was that. You know, she, uh, the child should absor observe everything. You know, when she's looking at animals, this time in aquarium, I told her to observe the eyes of the shark, how they look. And every animal has different kind of eyes. Uh, like the fish does not have eyelashes. Uh, the seal does not have eyelashes and all those kind of things. So that's why this activity I get so that, you know, just increase observance level of a child. Uh, then we did a basic counting activity. So my intention was to count 10, 15 and 30. The big numbers, make sure her focus is good enough to count big things. And this one is uh, sorting trash, recycle and garbage. Again, it was more of a knowledge imparting activity rather than expecting her to do it. Why it came? Because she saw some trash bins in a mall where they were sorting between there were four bins. One was a trash, one plastic, can, and paper. And she asked me what it is. She can't read it, so I was telling her, you know, if these things are recyclable, this is not recyclable. And we read a book about it last to last week. And that's why I brought it this activity so that, you know, we again revise this thing that, you know, what is recycle? Why do we have to recycle? Uh, we are talking about we should not waste paper, we should not waste. Uh, pencils so you should not throw things here and there and we should not waste food it did not it goes to garbage so all these things we are talking about in a conversation mode and through activities just to impart the practical life and what they are observing around and to fill their curiosity curiosity whatever their questions are again third fourth day um this is the skeleton matching so she has done it before we did it again because we visited a zoo and there this time she touched the face skull of a leopard skin of leopard and all that kind of stuff and we saw some skeletons also somewhere it was an exhibit so i thought to bring it out again and it was easy for her to match because this is not complicated you can match snake very easily um, giraffe you can make out with the uh, neck is so long so it's an easy recognition activity phonics first sound first and last sound blends just revising some things using the dot stickers and we did some stamping we just reading some cvc words circling them and making sure that you know we know cvc words because we don't practice it anymore just once in a blue moon so it was there again another science activity which is completely her driven is a uh, this book she picked up from library herself uh, now they pick up their books themselves i just leave them to the section there and uh, they have the right to choose three books for themselves each of my girls so this she picked up and she wanted to know uh, you know why what is this because they have never seen farms here in singapore they don't know what is scarecrow and why this vegetables and all only in their grandparents house they have seen it so this book is amazing okay it talks about everything Love it. Something, what is a part of a plant, part of a tree, seasons, uh, what are the seeds, how the seeds move, and uh, how the food goes to the flower, and then best part is what grows in the bushes, what grow on the trees, what grow under the ground, and what not. Amazing book. So on that basis, I made a DIY. So these are the different cards which I used as uh, flashcards for my two-year-olds. Recognizing different things from different puzzles. So I just flashed her this time to my three-year-old. Do you think it grows above the ground or below the ground? And then she has to tell me. So something she could tell what she read in this book, but mushroom is not there. And then I tried telling her that how it grows. And probably when we go to India, I'll show him some farm. Grapes, how they grow above the ground, below the ground, carrot above. So they have seen brinjal, uh, garlic, turnip radish growing in india and here they have seen singapore papaya and banana so um, we did half of the things something i had to tell her how they grow and in addition to that i had this printouts which shows how they actually look when they grow so see a um, fruit when they cut it the seed and how it grows banana um, okay cherry so uh, we have we get these fruits easily in singapore so i bought these ones show them the seeds but how they grow is something i had to show only by picture 
papaya, uh, peach and pear, uh, kiwi, and uh, apple and apricot. So that's all was one big activity we did this one. This is a simple uh, logical activity. You have to find the blocks here using this one. This is match the elements of the structures. This is from Think and Match from Amazon India. This is part two of this puzzle, this games. And third one was simple pattern matching. She loved patterns, so just she had to fill the patterns. That's it. So that's all our activities which we did with my three-year-old and all child-led completely her choices and we loved it so just see if your child loves these activities and you know these are practical activities which child observes around and i think this is the most important thing the child should learn rather than the academic so i would request you that you know tell them what they observe they will understand that things much better rather than bringing something out of the blue to teach them so happy parenting enjoy yourself bye bye